Rahma the Raindrop, a Kissa Kids publication, written by Binti Zehra Naqvi, illustrated by Nida Sayyid. Wallahu anzala min as samai ma'an fa'ahya bihi al-arda ba'da mawtiha. And Allah has sent down water from the sky, with which he revives the earth after its death. The Noble Quran, Surah 16, Ayah 65. Drip, drop, drippity drop, down came a raindrop. Her name is Rahma, Rahma the raindrop. Whee! exclaimed Rahma with her heart full of joy as she was about to fall into the ocean. Suddenly, the wind came whooshing and swooshing, taking her far, far away. Far, far away onto the land where there was no sign of the ocean. Just then, Rahma heard a voice. Rahma looked right and left, but did not see anyone. Hello, down here, came the voice again. Rahma looked down. There he was, down on the ground. Dry and withered, a little seed was found. Salamu alaikum. My name is Rahma. Wa alaikum salam, Rahma. Can you please help me? The seed pleaded. How can I help you? Asked Rahma. Oh, you see, I am just a seed, but Allah created me to be more than that. Allah created me to be a tree, a tree full of fruit. However, you see, I have no water to grow. Would you please give me some water to grow? Oh, please, pretty, pretty please. Of course. Replied Rahma, and she gave the little seed some of her water. The little seed drank the precious water, making sure not to waste even a tiny bit. Over time, the little seed grew and grew, first stretching his roots, then up rose his trunk and his branches filled with fruit. Rama was happy that she was able to help a creation of Allah. She wanted to stay and enjoy the yummy fruit but she had to find her way back to the ocean, so she bid farewell and went on her way. As Rahma passed by the forest, she heard a cry. Wah! Oh dear, I must find out what's wrong. Maybe I can help, thought Rahma. Deep down in the forest, a plant let out a cry. My flowers used to bloom, but now they are all dry. Is that why you're crying, my friend? Asked Rahma. Sniff, sob. Oh, you see, I am just a dried up plant, but Allah created me to be more than that. Allah created me to be a rose bush full of roses. However, I have no water to grow. Would you give me some water to grow? Oh, please, pretty, pretty, please. Hmm. Thought Rahma. She had to find her way back to the ocean, but she also really wanted to help the rose bush. What should she do? She decided to help the rose bush and share some of her water. The rose bush drank the precious water, making sure not to waste even a tiny bit. Over time, the rose bush grew and grew. Her roses blossomed and bloomed. The beautiful scent filled the air with the most sweet and fragrant perfume. Alhamdulillah, the rose bush thanked Allah for sending Rahma to help her grow into a beautiful plant. Rahma was so happy that she was able to help a creation of Allah. She wanted to stay and smell the fragrant roses, but she had to find her way back to the ocean. So she bid farewell and went on her way yet again. Rama had not gotten too far when she heard another sound. It was coming from a bird who was lying down on the ground. 
A little thirsty bird lay breathless on the ground. The scorching sun above had left him flightless and earthbound. What is the matter, my friend? Rahma asked the little bird. Oh, you see, I, I am just a little bird who is too tired to fly, but Allah created me to be more than that. Allah created me to be a bird that can soar. However, I have no water, and I'm oh so thirsty. Would you please give me some water? Oh, please, pretty, pretty, please. Hmm thought Rahma. She really, really wanted to help the little bird, but if she did, she would be too tired to get to the ocean. Even so, she did not want to say no to a creation of Allah, so she decided to help him and share some of her water. The little bird drank the precious water, making sure not to waste even a tiny bit. The little bird, once so weak, slowly found the strength to fly. He flapped his wings and soared up high into the sky. Rahma waved her friend goodbye as he flew up, up, and away. She was happy that she was able to help a Christian of Allah, but she was also sad that she hadn't yet reached the ocean. After a long day of helping others, she was too tired to continue her journey. Rahma prayed to Allah. Oh Allah, help me. Please help me get to the ocean. Just then, the little bird came back. Why are you sad, Rahma? He asked. Rahma told the little bird everything, from how she was taken far, far away from the ocean to how she was too tired to get to it now. The little bird said to Rahma, Hop on my back, I will take you there. Rahma got on his back. The little bird took Rahma higher and higher until they found the ocean. When Rahma saw the ocean, she was so excited, she sincerely thanked the little bird and jumped off his back. Plop! At last, Rahma was united with the ocean. All praise is to Allah who made me so, to be more than just a raindrop. He made me Rahma, a mercy for the whole wide world. The ocean gently surrounded and embraced Rahma. Being connected with the ocean made Rahma feel stronger and stronger. She thanked Allah for all of his blessings. Finally, she was home. And we have made of water everything living. The Noble Quran, Surah 21, Ayat number 30.